So amines are, we talked about how they're kind of like um, substituted ammonia molecules. And ammonia is a basic compound and amines likewise are basic. What happens with ammonia is ammonia has a lone pair of electrons here. That means that it can act as a proton acceptor. It can accept this proton from water and become an ammonium ion. And then what we have left is a hydroxide ion. So ammonia fits the definition, I think it's the Arrhenius definition, where it's a substance that produces hydroxide ions in water. So even though ammonia doesn't have hydroxide in it, when you put it in water, it produces hydroxide ions. But the, the definition of acid and base that we use mostly in organic chemistry is the bronsted lowry definition, where the base is the proton acceptor. So in chemistry land, where the proton is like a little baby, the base is the babysitter. Base and babysitter start with B. And so the babysitter accepts the child from the parents and holds it for a while. So the baby is the hydrogen, and this is the babysitter. And so the baby goes to the hydrogen for a while. I'm sorry, the baby goes to the ammonia for a while. This is an equilibrium, and it favors the reactants. Ammonia is a weak base. It only ionizes somewhat. Okay? So that's what ammonia does. The amines act very similarly. This nitrogen has a lone pair, and yes, this one is methylamine, it's got a methyl group over here, but that nitrogen can still hold on to the, the proton from the water molecule. And so this will also act as a base, producing hydroxide ion in aqueous solution. Any questions? So what's formed is, is called a substituted ammonium ion. Um, an amine can be thought of as a substituted ammonia molecule, and when it reacts with an, a, um, an acid such as water, it forms a substituted ammonium ion. So this is simply an ammonium ion, remember ammonium is NH4+, in which one or more um, R groups have substituted in for the hydrogens. And important things to remember about these ammonium ions, they are charged species. They are ions. Okay, we don't talk a lot about ions in organic chemistry, but this is, this is an ion. And the nitrogen atom is participating in four bonds, which is not the normal thing for nitrogen. So if we just look at, um, look at something simple, like methyl, this would be methylamine. Okay, there's a lone pair of electrons here. When it reacts with an acid, it accepts the proton and forms a methyl ammonium ion. This bond here is called a coordinate covalent bond. This is not where the hydrogen brings an electron and the nitrogen brings an electron and they share and make a covalent bond. This is where the nitrogen is doing charity work. Okay, the nitrogen has two electrons there, the hydrogen has none, and he says, well, I'll share my electrons with you. And so they do make a covalent bond. But overall, this species is short one electron, and so there is a positive charge. So these, ion, these are ions, and the nitrogen is involved in four bonds. How do we name these substituted ammonium ions? Well, their names are very similar to the name of the parent amine. If we have ethyl amine, we just change the ending amine to ammonium ion. So this becomes ethyl ammonium ion. This is ethyl dimethylamine. That becomes ethyl dimethyl ammonium ion. So we're just changing the ending. Um, for the aromatic amines, um, the, the simplest aromatic amine is aniline. And so 
we change the ending of its name just like we did with these guys and this becomes anilinium ion and then it could have other things on it so this would be n-methyl anilinium ion because there's a methyl group on the nitrogen So let's determine names for these guys. Name the following substituted ammonium or substituted anilinium ions. So in A, here's the amine group. And we have an ethyl group over here and a methyl group over here. And we're going to name the substituents in alphabetical order. And then because this is an ion, we're going to use that ion ending. So ethyl comes before methyl in the alphabet. So this is ethyl, methyl, I'm blanking, ethyl, methyl, ammonium, Ion. So let's look at B. So here we've got um, a monosubstituted ammonium ion. What's the name of this group? Isopropyl. So this is isopropyl ammonium ion. Iso propyl ammonium ion. We're just naming them as a as substituted ammonium. So ammonium is NH4 plus. So whatever's substituted in for any of those hydrogens we just string those together in front of the name. How about letter C? What groups do we have here? What's this one? This is ethyl, and that one's ethyl. So we've got diethyl, and this is methyl. So this is going to be diethyl, because ethyl comes first methyl ammonium ion how about letter D anytime you see this benzene ring in here think that, okay this guy probably has a special name right so this part has what name Aniline. And so this becomes anilinium ion. And then we're going to name what's attached to it, which is propyl. The propyl is attached to the nitrogen. And so this is N propyl anilinium. It's a lot of I's ion. Any questions?